Hi everyone, welcome back to Panama Dobby. So, once again, favourites. And this is the first favourites for 2014. I have to mention this. This has been absolutely one of my standout products of January. This is from that Beauty Beats uh, range from Essence. And it set me back maybe about $5. It's just a great little product. It's actually a double-ended um, eyeliner. Uh, normally with ones like this, they're just the like mechanical pencil ones. So you've got a thick and a thin end. This is actually a liquid eyeliner. And I've sort of pre-swatched sort of swatched it. So what you get is you get this one. You get the calligraphy uh, type or style end. So, look at it. so you get your nice wide one or you can sort of... You know, obviously slant it and get a great cat eye or angle and it's a good sort of uh, black as well it's not like a runny sort of over shiny black it's just a nice dries to a nice finish and then you've got the fine point one on the other end so you can do your very fine lines so for the fact that you've got your sort of two in one it's relatively easy to travel with and just forgive the price line wrapping on there I couldn't quite get it off uh, I love the way it looks I love the consistency of the the product the lasting power the price point this I love so again you're thin and you're thick it's a definite winner that one for me um, pure tissue oil by Busby but it's very similar to like the bio oil a lot of the different ones out there to help uh, heal and you're sort of those more superficial uh, scarring um, stretch marks um, and all that stuff. So I have used the bottle in the past and I'm actually going to be doing a review soon with the, the Salinade uh, Biomax one which I've been using more on my face and sort of um, sunspots and blemishes but this one I've been really using predominantly around my abdominal area and sort of my torso. I have scarring there several operations when I had uh, cancer so that's sort of what I've been using there just sort of on the superficial sort of bit so this has got avocado grape seed and rose hip oil you can also use it on wrinkles and also for aging skin as well I just grabbed this um, at my local pharmacy I think it's at selected ones as well this is more the trial size it's just a little spray size I think it sent me back around seven dollars or so but I will let you know I just want to keep post but I've been really enjoying that um, the next thing is this one, <laughs> face mask. I have mentioned this before, um, and I've been using this, uh, the Queen Jolene Mint Julep Mask, in conjunction with a lot of my uh, facial cloth masks and that that I've been getting in uh, beauty boxes, which I'll link down below the one that I did on the long light. But this one is just that sort of green, sort of clay-like face mask, so one that you put in your hand, smear all over uh, and let it sit and it really helps draw out those impurities. This smells great, smells just like uh, sort of peppermint creams, I love the way it feels and I'll insert a photo somewhere here because I kind of look like the Hulk when I wear it so. Uh, as for cleansing sort of stuff or for a lot of my makeup I've been again used going through a lot of samples and that which I will actually mention in my empties uh, video that I do next but this one is the Embryo Lease uh, Lotion Micellaire, it's the one, that, you know, the water oil mix that you can take uh, makeup with, but I've just gone absolutely crazy. I got this in eye mats, and I've sort of left it at the back of the shelf and forgot about it, but in January I went all out. I've been really enjoying it. It's nice and light too to sort of get off all that gunk. Uh, showering, lots of showering, it's so hot. So I've been enjoying another Imperial Level 1. Uh, this is the Cherry Blossom and Vanilla one. It's actually one of my favorites. I always keep going back to this one. But this is purely what I've used um, in January. I've been using this and the, uh, I think it's the Pure, is it the Pure Customs, the, the spray one. I'll put, I'll put the name in somewhere. But this one, I just love the smell and I love the way it feels on the body as well. And I always get it when it's on special. As far as my hands, this is the one I've been, um, I had it in my handbag. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn pomegranate, argan and grapeseed. I got this in the violet box, uh, was it December or so? One of the one of the recent violet boxes. I love this stuff. It smells great. Oh gosh, it's just absolutely divine. I won't spend too much time on it, but it's been sort of the one I've been alternating with the next one. So this is my travel one. Every time I go out, I've got this one. And the next one, I don't travel with because it's a glass jar. It's just too heavy for my bag. This is the Burt's Bees Beeswax and Banana Hand Cream. I mentioned this in that haul video that I did recently. I'll link it down below, but look at that. This is the one that I just slather on when I'm at home, all over my hands, all over my arms, my cuticles. Oh god, that smell. It smells like perky bananas. If you're from New Zealand, you know what that is, but oh gosh, just those banana lollies. It smells divine and feels great. It's got lots of good stuff in there. 
sweet almond oil, beeswax, grapefruit, etc, uh, etc. Et but love it. I've got it right next to my computer. Uh, another one which I actually can't open because it's just in its natural state. This is 100% pure coconut oil by Pure Moisture. No, Pure Tan, sorry, is the range. I actually have a couple of these uh, ones that I got yeah. fashion box. These are the sample ones. I love this stuff. But you just got to be careful when it's quite hot like it is today. Like I, I sillyly, I had it in the bathroom. It's very warm in there. I have to put it back in my little cooler area over here. Um, it goes back to its natural state. So it's just like a liquid oil form. But I've been using it everywhere. It's great on your skin. It's great to uh, moisturize your skin with because it doesn't clog pores on your hair. Again, cuticles, arms, legs, sort of all over the place. So it's a lovely sort of natural product. But when it's cooler, it, go, it solidifies and it goes to that white... Uh, you know, like, like a white, but like thicker than balm form. Definitely a good mention is this one. This is the Mecca Lip De Luscious. Oh my gosh. I keep going back between the Terry Rose De Balm and this. I just, oh, I just love it. These are ones I've been using either under my um, sort of more matte or my more drying lip steps. So I use them during the day on it's if I'm just at home or at night as a lip treatment. I really do love this one. But for the day, it's great because it's got SPF 25. Um, and other sort of body balms I've been using. These are the uh, Urban Ritual ones. I've got the Frangipani and the uh, Coconut coconut and Honey. Uh, ones I'll put a link below to the blog post that I did on them. I got these uh, uh, little travel sizes in the Her Fashion Boxes. But I'll just put the link to the post. They're from the Beach Coma range. Uh, from them. Uh, Ta da! Vaseline spray. I mentioned this in my haul video, uh, which I'll link down below. And we say, I love this. This is something that I can put on after a shower, when I'm in a rush, at night before I go to bed, because it's just a spray. It's the aloe vera one, and there's two other ones you can get in this range, but just spray it all over. Uh, and it's just great. A good, quick go one. A little bit spray. That's pretty much it for sort of skincare. There's a few other ones, but I'm just going to leave them. I might put them in my empties ones. As far as sort of lip sticks, probably the two standout ones are the ones that I'll, I'll mention in the haul there uh, by Bourjois. They're their Lip Shine sort of balms, actually. There's the number 26 and 24. I'll just swatch them. I'll, I'll link below that post pretty much in here because I tend to ramble and ramble. But there's like a nudie, a nudie pink, and just a beautiful, more rosy pink there. But they're, they're sheer. I just love those sort of balm or sheer lip sticks. They're sort of right up my alley. I also wanted to mention as far as my eyes, I've been going through a lot of my different mascaras. But I keep mentioning my Ardell lashes. These are my favourite. I finally got saved some I can show you. These are the 110. These are my natural... Well, when I want just a natural everyday sort of look. These are the ones that I'll wear most often in my video. As far as sort of blushes, again, I I try so many different ones and enjoy so many. But this one, the Dior uh, 829 Rose Draggy. I'll put all their names down below of the products. This one's beautiful. I love the cases. I've been really enjoying it. I love the fact that it's got a matte and a the sort of shimmer there. So you can do your highlight and your blush. And I'll try so I can watch it it's just a very light pink not light pink it's just a very gorgeous sort of pink look of it of the compact and just using it and everything so that's what an honorable mention I think um, oh and two ones that I just sort of want ones I've been, I've play, been playing with a lot of my different eyeshadow palettes and that because I want to do some reviews ones that I've been using I wouldn't necessarily call it my standout favourite but it's one I've been using in this month this is the uh, full exposure palette by Smashbox I'm just going to quickly oops, show you without trying to blind you with the mirror that's it there just a beautiful natural nudes you can do smoky looks and everything and what you've got is you've actually got your shimmer ones all down here you've got seven shimmer and then seven matte shadows uh, up the top uh, and but I'll, again I'll do a review on that and the next one is the bare minerals this is the para neutrals palette that I got I got both of these in my uh, Sephora haul which I'll link down below oh god I can't get it I've got coconut oil over coconut I'm trying not to blind you. Again, fairly similar sort of colours. All, all the ones that I like, torpies, greys, brown, they're all sort of my my thing. Um, but that's coming up. Um, as far as brushes, I did my favourite 
uh, brushes of, of this moment, sort of my current favourites. Uh, and I'll put a link down to that below. But another one that I've been um, enjoying in January, because I, I really broke it in um, in January, is this one. This is the Becca, the, oh gosh, what's it called? The All Over Foundation Brush. It's pretty much one that you can use, supposedly you can use for liquid, uh, for powder, to do your blusher, your contour, your highlight, uh, to do pretty much everything, foundation. That's where it's sort of, it's, it's an all-in-one all brush, and maybe that's what it's called. I have mixed results on this one, but I've been really enjoying it for my uh, bronzer and my contour, and it's super soft. It is really, really nice. You can see that. I spot cleansed it, but I haven't um, deep cleansed it uh, today. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. But um, it's just really, really great sort of for that. But like I said, it's, I don't know if it's for me personally to use it for everything, but I might do a review on it if you do want to sort of see it. But it's been fun to try and use and then two other ones uh, is the face of Australia concealer this is the neutral that I've been really enjoying and they join the neutral we can use it for a highlighter and a concealer that's it there you can see why it's a beautiful creamy consistency and also this one this is the one pencil that from NYX that I got when I did that target haul you can see it's a lot Sort of dark and warmer. This is the medium, I believe, but it's one that I can use as your reverse lip liner. Um, so to sort of, uh, and also to help, you know, all that sort of thing from getting into the little fine lines that I am actually getting. Um, I've used it. You can use it in your waterline, I believe. I haven't, uh, but I've been using it as an inner um, eye highlight. I've been using it as a um, concealer. Concealer really nice sort of thing so it just depends on what look I'm going for today for I just, just sort of depends but I've been really enjoying it anyway I think I actually covered everything except for the last little piece that I have to mention um, I just got the package today this is I got a couple of these from um, I think cosmetics.com.au the Australian site um, and I got it literally at the last moment on Australia Today they had the 26% um, you know, 26th of January, 26% off, so I jumped on and quickly got two of them. I love these. These are different stand out um, favourite. I probably should have mentioned them when I did that organisation uh, video, but I did show it in my original one, which I'll link down below. This is it here. It's just cute and watch out all my finger marks. But um, I wanted to get a couple more, so I've got two to uh, sort of put around my room and do all my other sort of uh, products that need sort of standing up for my tubes and tubs and moisturizers and that. I really do enjoy those. So they are something that I really uh, like. I mean, obviously you could use any sorts of tubs and that, but I thought when you're getting the 26% off. And oh, just one other thing that I'll mention. <laughs> I love my gum. I am addicted, not addicted to them, but I do love gum. Sort of uh, after I've eaten when I'm out, to scrape, just sort of chew it. Uh, but what I've been enjoying is this natural one that you can get at a lot of health food stores. This is just the naturally better Sweet Life Dental Gum. The sugar-free, you know, artificial sweeteners and that. So I do like that. I'm trying to wean myself off of a lot of the other ones. When I'm feeling a little bit naughty and, and not so natural, I'm going for this one. These are the Extra Dessert Delights range. Or the Dessert Delights range from Extra. The, um, I think from, they're mostly from overseas, but you can get them a lot of different... 7-Elevens and that around here. This is the root beer flavor one but That's when I'm being naughty. I'll have that one. Anyway, that's just something random uh, I will look forward to seeing everyone else's videos. Take care